what I meant by standing up for yourself is not what happens in this video, and I'm gonna play it right now. Good to know people in Japan. Let's be respectful. You know what I mean? I hope nobody. I, I hope nobody in the chat was saying weird shit. If I go back and oh, crap. whoa, whoa. What the fuck? you got slapped, bitch. That felt good, huh? That felt good. Even though I don't agree with it, I don't agree with it a hundred percent. No, can't say that I do, but it did feel good. He deserved that. He did, he did deserve it. Did he deserve it? Yes, he did. Was it right? It wasn't right. But overall, I give it a grade C. Grade C. C for, you know, courtesy. Because, he, you know, the person tried. But what happens next? Definitely not. Hey, hey relax. You don't want it, huh, Somali? You don't want it, bruh. You don't want it, yeah. This is still not right, but yeah. Relax, relax, nothing, no problem. Relax. See? See? You heard that? Did you guys hear that one? Did y'all hear it? Oh! Damn. <laughs> he dropped the bomb. He said, he didn't even say, he said, N I J J A R. He said A R with it. Yeah. Welcome to Daily Asian Hate Mail. Daily Asian Hate Mail. The podcast that you might find controversial. You might find triggering. But if you listen deeply and you least listen close enough. Maybe there's going to be something in you that gets something out of this. Woke up. What's up? Daily Asian Hate Mail. Episode number five. I'm just going to be honest and say I'm not comfortable with... All right, so... Jom, what's his name? Jomari? Johnny? Somali? All right. I was thinking... I know I was the one who made a video saying, like, let's fight. Saying, like... You should be an example. You should be, you know, you should basically, you know, I made a video saying that, like, this guy deserves, he deserves to get his ass kicked. But I don't think this way of approaching somebody is proper. And I just don't think this is righteous at all. For a second, I was kind of happy. Like, I was like, oh, cool. Somebody got him. If you're going to put it this way, if you're going to go up to him and you see if you see Johnny Somali and you want to express your anger, the right thing to do is to challenge him to a fight first. So giving him like a sucker punch is not really fair, even though he said all those words about, you know, Japan. And that's the thing, like. You can't just hit him. You can't just attack him out of nowhere. There's no respect in that. If he doesn't want to fight you, then look, you win. But if he does fight you, then that's different. That's at least he got a chance to to square up. When you know, man to man, he backs up his. You know what he did. He mans up about it, and you man up too for you know the anger that you built from it. Like if I see him, I wouldn't hit him like. You know, secretly, I would, I would say, hey, you, me, let's go, like, meet up somewhere where there's no people, no crowd. You don't want there to be a crowd. You know what I mean? You don't want people to know that you guys fight, because right? that's just gonna cause like commotion, and you might get in trouble. So, okay. First off, I do not condone just punching somebody out of nowhere. It would have been okay. I mean, you gotta you gotta do levels levels with it. What he's what he did deserves a fair fade. Like, if you just went up to him and say, hey, what's up, one on one, let's go. Don't do it in the crowd, because that's just asking for trouble. Tell him to meet you somewhere behind closed doors. That sounds kind of pause, but like you know, don't don't. Let the fight be stopped. You know what I mean? Like if you're gonna fight, 
and you want to fight and you're not scared to fight, you're going to want the fight to go longer than a minute. Because, you know, most fights are done in like 10 seconds. It's like, oh, 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 boom, 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 boom. That's it. That's it. It's like, after that, it's already done. Before you even try to get a hit, it's already over. That's how all fights are. I mean, like, any fight that's in, like, open public, like, where there's a lot of people, that's how it is. You know, if it's just you two, that's, that's different. You guys are going to fight to the, like, the real warriors, bro. That's how you do it. Even if you lose, even if you lose, bro, that, he's going to have more respect for you than he probably might not even ever joke around about Asians again. That's why, like, but doing this kind of stuff, is bad because i mean it just makes us look bad you know what i mean it makes asians look like you know we're not giving him a fair a fair fade it looks like we're being racist like you know you we, we, we cannot fight racism with more racism fire and fire don't fight each other they just grow they just grow you know what i mean you never try to put fire out with fire <laughs> try that try to put fire like you see something on fire try to put more fire on it and see what happens well nothing good what can happen from that race we cannot combat it with even more racism it just doesn't work it's hypocritical and i understand the the need to want justice i understand the need to bring him to regret what he said and at first, I felt kind of sorry for him. Like, I was like, damn, I should have never made that video then. And then, like, I went on his channel, and I saw that he made a video saying sorry. And I was like, what? Like, he said, he said sorry, and then he said, and then he comes out with another video, like, dissing us, dissing Asians again. And it's like this... Like, he's, like, bipolar or something. And ever since I saw that, I was like, maybe we shouldn't mess with him. He might be a, a J-Cat. And that's annoying right there. I'll tell you that much. So I agree that, yeah, maybe he, maybe he did deserve that punch, okay? I'll give you that. But maybe not anymore. I don't think he deserves, like, any more than what, he, what just happened to him. I don't think he deserves more than that. I think that's that's pretty much like you know we can cap that like right there we'll stop that right there right we don't need to be hitting him like that if we want to fight him challenge him one on one fair hello everyone ask him to do a fair one on one and that's the only righteous way to do it otherwise why is it's bullying you know let's not bully anybody let's not let's not spread hatred. Because the whole thing about Asian hate is about showing the world what we go through as Asians. And we never get to really say much because we, there's all these preconceived notions about us being... Well, first off, we don't say nothing because we don't snitch. You know, we don't tell the police. We're not supposed to, Like, but I know some people do. And, you know, that's that's really up to you. But personally, I don't call the police. Police don't help. Most Asians don't like getting the police involved because a lot of times police are corrupted and they might be getting paid by the people that you're trying to get, you know, away from. So remember that. But he he did this, I guess, probably the day after he made the video, which is kind of dumb. But let's just hear like a minute of it. I want to make this video to sincerely apologize to the country and the people of Japan for my comment. It was wrong, it was disrespectful, and I totally should not have said those words. This country is amazing. Everybody in this country that I've met has been super hospitable to me and has taken care of me. And they've really been truly great friends and have shown me care, love, and respect. And to whoever I hurt in this video, I really apologize in that live stream. It's not the content I'm trying to make. A lot of my other videos are just me enjoying different countries and. Okay, now he's full of shit. 
Like honestly, he's being manipulative right here. That's what that's that's the reason why I think you did deserve get to get hit. Just because you're lying like through your teeth, man. Like you know you love this content. You know you had to make this video. Like your moves are so calculated. I'm so sorry. In this video he puts he puts it right here. Logan Paul dot exe. He had intentions to look to make it look like he, you know, he had the intention basically to make it look like freaking, you know, I did something wrong. I'm as big as Logan Paul. You know, I fucked up in the same country that he did. And that's why, you know, I got to say sorry. I got to make a sorry video because people are going to go viral about it. He, deep down inside, he's fucking a little selfish little prick. You know that? He's, he's a little selfish little prick. I tell you that much. Like he's. He's thinking about like just trying to appear nice and like you know civil, but really he's a motherfucker. And like really, I I'm not even joking. Like I can see, I I know these kind of motherfuckers, bro. I know these motherfuckers. These are the type of fools that will fucking steal something from you and then help you look for it. This is the motherfucker right here. He's the type to steal some shit from you and then help you look for it and. You know, you guys start looking for hours and shit, and he's just like, "Man, dude, we should just probably give up, dude. This is gone," because he knows it's gone. He probably pawned it or something. Partying and just showing them my lifestyle and making friends and making new connections and building a network. It's not the content I want to make. I wanted to take a few days to reflect on my message in this video. When the gentleman pulled up on me in the bike a few days ago, one thing that he stated to me that. that is not shown on the clips on the internet is that he stated that the video made him cry and my videos i'm not trying to make people cry it's not the message i'm trying to put out to the see you can't just say that you can't just say you know i'm making content so people can not cry bro like there's there's a thin line bro that's not even a joke like to bring up to bring it up is because like people say Oh, these guys can't take a joke. What do you mean? You have to define what a joke is. You can't say today that we can't take a joke when something is clearly not a joke. And you're going to say that that's funny enough to be a joke. And they're living there. It doesn't have to it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be like their family. That's their country. That's like somebody coming up to you and saying Hey, how were the how was 9-11? That shit was tight, huh? We got y'all uh got y'all 9-11. Uh, yeah, we got y'all, right? We got y'all. You guys. The stole your planes, killed a bunch of Americans. That's exactly the same thing. Like, you might not care. I mean, most people in America are not woke like that. They think they're woke. They're they're on their on their kind of woke. But I'm talking about like most Americans don't really give a fuck. But say that to a true American. Say that to a soldier. Go up to a soldier and say, "Hey, remember 9/11? We did good, huh? Those fucking terrorists and shit. We did, we did that. We stole them airplanes, you know." Say that to a real American. You get your ass whooped, bro. Like for real. You know how many people were affected by by that disaster? Think about it. How many people are connected to those people on the planes? There was three planes. Both of them hit one. Well, two planes hit the towers. One plane hit the Pentagon, if I'm not mistaken. And there was another plane. There's actually four planes. That one didn't make it to where it was supposed to go. They fought back. Flight 93. But that's what I'm saying. Think about every single life that's on those planes, plus the place where they crashed. And tell me you think that's a joke. I don't find anything funny about that at all. And I think somebody who finds humor in in any kind of disaster like that, they're not the kind of people you want to be following. You know what I mean? Even if they say, Oh, it's not my my channel's about it's not that's not what we do here. I don't want my following to be built on like this. He doesn't care. He's lying through his teeth. To to be a character, to be someone that says, this is funny, 
this this disaster is funny. When all these people died, it was funny. That's not you can't you can't take that back, bro. You can't just say, "Oh, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to be like that. That's not my content. It's not, that I wasn't me last night." Fuck you. That was you. That was your humor, and that was hundred percent you. That's how. That's the truth. You should have just said it like that. Like, if you if you had made this video differently and just said, you know, I really messed up. Like I was selfish, thinking only about what I thought was funny, and I didn't realize that it wasn't funny. If you said it like that, okay, cool. But then you got people in the chat talking about, oh, they can't take a joke. Ha ha ha. Japanese niggas. Ha ha. Can't take a joke. Ha ha. Chimp gang. Chimp gang. Ha ha. You think that's it? You just you just ruined like the, any credibility that you have, bro. Like you just you just you just fucking burying yourself. Like it's like what the fuck, bro? Like just just fucking let yourself go to rest already. You're already you're already fucking you're getting you're already in the casket. You nailed it down properly, and then when you tried to apologize like this, oh no, the dirt has been has been moved, bro. You are buried right now. You are buried in your lies, bro. Buried in your content. Buried as a person alive. Because you know you fucked up. Because we, we got to see who you truly are. And like I said, nobody will find that, that any of those tragedies are funny. Is If you're that kind of person... Who thinks it's funny or who thinks it's appropriate to make a joke about it, then you're not a person of quality. You're a J cat. You're likely mentally ill or you're likely, you know, so basically so freaking in the matrix that you forgot that there's actually real people affected by this disaster. And that's why it's fucked up. It's not that it's not that people can't take a joke. Think about all the people that lost their lives, all the people that that it's, it's connected to. You don't think they're tr they're still fucking like missing their mom, dad, brother, sister. You don't think you don't know any of that because you never grieved before. You need to grieve, bro. Like on some real shit. If this fool, if you experience grief one time, then you'll understand. Damn, that shit is not funny at all. That's the thing. You you ain't never been through real shit before. You think everything, all this fucking, you know, the whole earth is full of fucking games and shit to laugh about. Content, content. You haven't went through shit yet, bro. That's why I, I, I don't even want to fight you anymore. You haven't been through shit. You ain't never been through real life, bro. Like, real shit. You, you still see the fairy tales. You're in the fucking Matrix like crazy. That's why I believe that you are just a straight up matrix. You're a bot. He's calling other people NPCs. This fool is an NPC. I'll tell you that much. To think that any disaster in the world is funny or should be joked around about. Especially to the people directly involved or living in the area. That's not funny, bro. Try, you know, if you go to Germany. You can't even fuck around and say that you supported Hitler. They don't fuck around with that shit. Because they know that their past, that shit fucked them up. That's a, it's a law. It's like a, that's like a no joke, like a no tolerance policy. They don't fuck around with that at all in Germany. You can't be in Germany like, hey Hitler, hey Hitler. You can't do that shit. Like if you try that shit, they will fucking arrest your ass. You will go to jail. Try that shit. They know they know how that shit is, bro. They don't like they don't like remembering the past. Because think about it, all the people they fucking killed. All the people that died. Even though they're not directly responsible, you you don't understand that they have to bear the burden. They have to wear that every day. It's a part of who they are. And that's why you're a custer. You're a bitch. You did deserve to get hit that way. You don't deserve to get hit everywhere you go. I'm going to be honest with you. I think you're a dumbass idiot who doesn't know anything about life yet. And 
that's why maybe I don't even want to. I don't want it, bro. I don't want. To, I don't want it, bro. I don't know. Yeah, this that's you need to experience a little bit of life. So I think this is a good. This is a good opportunity for you to maybe get the fuck off the internet and go fucking figure yourself out. It's real shit. The these numbers can get to your head, bro. These numbers are gonna get to you. Especially if you're that young and you never experienced pain. Yeah, like, maybe you... Okay, don't get me wrong. I don't know anything about your past, bro. So I can't say, like, oh, you ain't never experienced pain. You probably have. But, yeah, you can definitely have not experienced grief. I'll tell you that much. Because you, you will find... It's different when someone you lose... When you feel the actual reality of someone dying. That you know, that you saw every day, that you can't talk to anymore. You talk to them every day, but now you can't talk to them anymore. I don't know. I don't know your I don't know your story. So, and if you still act that way, even when you do know, if you do know grief, then yeah, you're definitely not somebody I want to fuck with, follow, or just yeah. That's not. That's you know. That kind of humor is something you want to do with your own people, not on the internet. You do that with your own people on your own time. The internet is a free public access to anybody, for anybody to get offended. Like, I'm not offended as much as I'm backing them up. The only reason, like, I honestly don't, I'm not offended at all by what he said. I'm just here to back up the Asian community like pretty much because not a lot of them will speak up and i believe like you know we do need to start speaking up and i know it sucks that we have to do this on the internet but it's like you know I, I, what am i gonna do go look for you i ain't gonna look for you bro the fuck that's what the asian hate mail podcast is for this is the asian hate mail that we get He's the perfect example of the kind of packages that come for Asian people. You got motherfuckers who are pretending to lie or pretending to be someone saying sorry after they do something wrong and everyone, you know, praising them. Oh, good job for saying fucking sorry. Good job. But really, it doesn't do no fucking benefit for anybody, especially the people that he hurt. It's insulting. It's like, fuck what you said, bro. If I said it, I meant it, bro. That's it. If I said it, I meant it, bro. That's it. You can't say, if I said it, it's because somebody paid me $5 to say it. You sound like a bitch. That's what bitches do. You give them money, they make a move. That's what bitches do. You ain't never been through life, bro. Anyway. Yeah. The I'm just going, I just want to say the Asian community... Asian masculinity on Reddit. Don't don't attack this man. Don't attack him. Be fair. If you find him, ask him for a one on one. If he doesn't want it, then that's justice right there. Don't just hit him. Don't just attack him. He don't deserve that. You know what I mean? He's he's young, he's dumb. He's dumb. He don't deserve that. So yeah, when I saw it. You know, I'm not going to lie. I got a little bit. I feel like, you know, yes, righteous, righteous. It's not righteous, though. But I did feel justified. Justified? Yes. Righteous? No. Definitely not. Challenge him to a one-on-one. -on -one fair. Fair game. And do what you do. That's it. That's all, that's all I got to say. But, yeah. Don't hit this man, dude. This man, he has a lot of growing up to do. You know what I mean? He's, yeah, he's he's still at that age where he doesn't understand this shit yet. But you know, I mean, if if he continues to be that way, then maybe eventually, like you know, we can probably say, all right, send in the motherfucking firing squad, send them in, aim, aim, fire, yeah. Not right now though, just you know, like I said, give it some time. He's still young. He's a baby boy. <laughs>